Hey y'all, it's Mocha Mima back again. Still not feeling well, so I decided to do a pre-record because I can't stay up until 10 o'clock to do this video. Y'all, let's get into this. Let me give my um my intro and then we're gonna talk about Suki. Work, work, work. I believe that all of your dreams are direction You took my heart, all my keys, and my passion You took my heart, all my seed, for decoration You been sticking with love, I brought for you for foundation All that I wanted from you was to give me Something that I never had Something that you never seen Something that you never been mm -hmm. But I wake up and then nothing's wrong Just get ready for work, 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 work Y'all, welcome once again. Y'all, this here was Suki. I, 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 Suki Hana, a.k.a. Suki with the good coochie. That is her entertainment name. Um, We're going to talk about Suki the entertainer and Suki the woman. Right? Now, y'all, before we go further, if you see on uh, scrolling, this is a trigger warning. Once again, trigger warning. This video contains sexual themes and language that may be harmful to some viewers. Some topics spoken about may be sexual assault and inappro inappropriate touching and some other stuff that you may find inappropriate and offensive. There also may be some photographs you may find to be offensive. Now, lately, YouTube, social media, everything has been on fire about Suki Hana. Um, she was at an event um, last weekend in Atlanta, and um, a rapper named YK Osiris um, kissed her. He kissed her twice without her permission. It's not what she wanted. And um, it's just turned social media upside down. Now, I have an unpopular opinion about the whole thing. And if, but let me get this first. I don't blame victims at all. Right? I don't blame victims. I wouldn't want this to happen to anyone in my family or my friends. Um, I, I do have some that have been sexually assaulted, but um, this is a very, the, the subject matter is, is it's a lot. So let me just get into it and then I can suss out what I'm talking about. Now, Sukihana is originally, I guess she was born in De Delaware. She is from, um, grew up, I guess, in Atlanta. She's a mom of three kids. Her kids live in Atlanta with her grandmother, I believe. Um, she is 31 years old, which is the name of, I have a 31-year-old daughter. Um, one of my daughters, 31. Suki is, I, 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 I learned of Suki from Love and Hip Hop Miami. I thought she was very raunchy. I thought she looked very nasty. I thought she had no class. I thought she was always doing too much. Like this is thing about female rappers. Like if that's what, okay, you want to make money and everything else, but the persona that you give off, I guess in order to make a lot of money, you have to give off this hypersexualized persona and you really have to, let me turn this music down so. And you really have to go, just go all out to do all these things. So, like I said, I was never crazy about Suki because she just was just a total turn off to me. 
Now, I do like female, I, I love female rappers. I, I do not like Nicki Minaj. I'm going to put that out there. I'm not a Nicki Minaj fan at all. She has some songs that I have liked in the past that you will catch me singing, but will you find, is she on my playlist or anything? I um, listen to my music on Tidal. No, I don't have no Nicki Minaj playlist. I don't even know if I have any songs up there. I only like that one moment for life. I did like that song. Um, I like Cardi B. I love Megan Thee Stallion. Um, Lotto is okay. I'm glad she changed her name to Lotto, but she's all right. I don't have Lotto's on a, my playlist. Um, I like Glorilla because I like that F. F what was it? F F F F Ninja Free. Me, I like that song. Um, I like that one tomorrow that, that she did with Cardi B. So I do like some Suki. I just don't like because Suki is just too. She's too much and too raunchy. That's not even when I was younger. I still wouldn't like her because that's just not my style. So anyway, she was at an event in Atlanta over this past weekend last week and uh, rapper YK Osiris tried to kiss her a couple times and she was uncomfortable with it, which I understand she, her being uncomfortable because if you didn't invite the touching, you don't want the touching. But the thing is now people are up in the air about it and about him and they're saying he's problematic and he's done it before and whatnot. And it comes to being when you have this hypersexualized persona that you put out there like what are you inviting in and to me like men cannot we, we as women for the most part we can control ourselves and we know what we're doing men are not like that i'm not giving men a pass whatsoever because some of them are trash a lot of them in the rap industry are trash with this I, I don't know why he thought that he could come up there and touch her like that. I don't know what their history is. I don't know if she said things about him in the past. And all everything I'm saying is a, alleged because I don't know I wasn't there. I do know how she talked about wanting to have sex with Keith, with the Keith Sweat a couple months ago. And she talked about wanting to have sex with Dr. Dr. Umar. You know Dr. Umar. Hotepery and the whole nine yards, him, like Suki, what are you doing? Like that, that hypersexualized manner that you have up there, like this picture I have up here with her with the legs wide open, like that stuff will get you in, in some situations that you don't want to be in. And um, let me share my screen. I, I want to go to her, her Instagram page and she has several. She has this, this page here. And she has two backup pages. So she calls herself Sukiana Goat, which I don't know what you're, if you're meaning Goat, Goat is great of, of all time. And Suki, you are not that whatsoever. So you need to stop that. So, and here is her name, Suki with the good coochie. She puts that out there. I, I've heard her say it several times and that's who she is. So if we go down, scroll down her Instagram, um, also, here's a post here from, I believe this, this is from today. And she says, Sukihana has, is being discussed in rooms I haven't even walked in yet. Yeah, Suki, yeah. This is, this is who you, this is who you are. And she got, and she, I remember she was with Kill Bill. She got Kill Bill on the back of her legs. I don't even know if she's even still with Kill Bill. I started to go down a rabbit hole of, of looking through this whole thing, but truthfully, I don't care all that much about her. I hate to, to see that that she was assaulted, that he should have kept his hands to himself, but he's a 24-year-old man, and, and a lot of them are stupid. But honey, when you dress like this, you put it out there. No, someone shouldn't touch you, but they get it as an invitation because men are stupid. Men are very, men are stupid. Like this is, look. I'm just going to let that sit there another second to let that marinate for y'all. I mean, the shoes are sharp. The shoes are sharp. Are those shoes Louboutins? I see the Louboutin bag in there. 
but this is who Suki is. And the reason why Suki came into so much fire over this past week is because she um, she put out an a, a Instagram post and people were like going off and eating her up about it. So let me put that back up here. This is the Instagram post she put up. I'm going to read it to you guys. Um, you can pause the video to read it. But this is the Instagram post from her. And this was on, I want to say on Thursday. I don't forget what day I clipped it. I, I think I clipped it yes I clipped it yesterday the 16th but I don't know if she had posted it yesterday I'll be able to tell when we go over to the set to the second part of it first okay I want to say first thank you to everyone who has reached out your thoughtfulness has not gone unnoticed I would like to address the event that took place on Saturday as well as the aftermath surrounding such she had someone write this up for her because Suki don't talk nothing similar to this. First, I want to acknowledge that YK Osiris has apologized to me both privately and publicly, and I've chosen to accept his apology. God always forgives me, and I can always forgive others. My accepting his apology is not my excusing or lessening the severity of his actions. This is destiny choosing to give grace to Osiris. Her real name is... Uh, Destiny Lynette Henderson. All right, let me go back and finish. Ooh. He is young. It is my prayer that this experience will cause him and others to be more mindful and respect the personal boundaries of others. I am a woman, a mother, a daughter, before I am an entertainer. No matter what my lyrics express, I still have boundaries and a right to have them. Again, I have accepted his apology and working towards getting back to my life. I am giving YK the grace and forgiveness that I want to be given to me as I was discovering and defining myself on this very public and sometimes unforgiving entertainment platform. Thank you again. I deeply appreciate your support. And that's followed with two blue hearts, which that's, 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 that sounds nice and everything. All right, next slide. So when you scroll down, um, people were having a fit on her because of what she said down in the comments. Now down in the comments, and you see I have it circled here. Let me make sure I put that. So yeah, I have it circled here. She says, "I am, I am a pro-black woman, and I am not tearing black men down." This is something I am choosing to forgive him for. I love him and accept his apology. Accept his apology. I would like to move on from this. Now, is she? I know she must have taken some thought about that because she she has three children, two sons and a daughter, um, and she may have thought about it and she made the decision to do to put that up there. But then people were going off and you know going crazy on her and on social media and everything. So I want to show you guys this. Uh, I want to show you an, another. Uh, there are so many articles and so much stuff on um, on social media. Okay. And this is from True Scoop. Um, I guess it's a website. I've never heard of it, but when I went, deep in the weeds looking for everything there it was okay it says um she on the i guess on the 14th she deleted her twitter account um after that and also with yk osiris i don't know much about him i don't know his music because i'm i you know i can't take this little baby the baby was it little baby the baby whatever other baby there little baby the baby big baby, whatever. Then there's all the different ASAPs. Then there's all, and some of them, you know, respectfully, their music is just trash. It's mumble rap. I mean, if I wasn't almost 60 and a plus size woman, I probably could get out there and, and do something myself. 
with some of this stuff because some of it is just trash. But anyway, I'm getting away from what I wanted to talk about. So um, it says here about how um, in one of her songs, Slept Me Out, she has another song called Wolf Pussy. Um, she just... It's a, a lot, it's just a lot of stuff with her. There's a whole lot of, whole lot of. So they go on to talk about what happened in the video. They talk about Tory Lanez. You know, Tory Lanez shot Megan Thee Stallion in the foot, and he's facing some major time. Um, and that just goes on to talk about it. it was no big whoop with them. Um, here's about the apology from the Jasmine Brand their article, and then it brought up this young lady here who um, goes by the name of, and I was looking at that, She Nasty, that is her handle on on TikTok. And she took down her video. I went over to her TikTok page, and her TikTok page is scrubbed except for like five videos. I don't know what she had up there, but um, all her stuff is taken down. Allegedly, in the video that she did, she said she worked for um yk osiris and he tried to also, also touch her sexually assault her or whatever without her permission now then i decided let me go over and look at her um instagram so here's her instagram is she's called t nasty now also not not blaming the victim or anything but this is what you're putting out here for people because you want to get noticed you want to make money in the industry and let me go through hers, which I think her putting that video out after seeing what happened with um, Suki was a clout chase. I think it was a clout chase. So here she is here in the pool. Um, here she was at an event on June. That was on June 1st. Here she is. I don't know where she is in the store somewhere. Ryan stuff. Here she is. Here, I guess she's getting those boots. Those are sharp, those are some sharp boots. But, um, and here's her Instagram and everything. Here she is, you know. Um, I don't know exactly when she worked for him, but I'm just gonna go through and show you her stuff. She's looking. She's looking, I think, for uh, um, and she's a pretty girl. She, she, she's clout chasing. She's looking for a come up and whatnot. And I guess she may have thought she was going to get it when she did that video. But the fact that she has deleted everything and whatnot and we can't find it, that tells you right there. Her clout chase wasn't clout chasing. So um, she, you know, they're done with, with her. And her, oh, I hope, you know what? I was looking at the wrong thing. I hope, he, oh yeah, you guys did see this. So it's just, a, it's just a lot. It's, it's just a whole lot with these young ladies. So as I was going through and looking through all the um, different articles and video, because you know, everybody wants to get, have a part of this. I did find this old article about Suki from August 2020, and I'm just showing this because I just want you guys to see another photograph of her. This is Suki from Fresh Food. This is her. That right there is giving BBL fake, but she is down in Miami when she's doing the season of um, what you call it. So... It's just a lot. Let me go back to her IG for Suki. Um, it's just a lot. Like, I have mixed feelings of, about this whole thing. Here's, look at this right here. Look at her Turks and Caicos with the shot inside of her. In there. And there she is dancing. Also, Suki had some problems earlier this year with, um, I want to say his name is Jimmy. I, I don't know exactly what his name is, but he, um, I guess there was a problem with the baby mother or something, but here he is. This was from back in, he's one of the, the race 
Ray Smir Smirmer. I can't never pronounce that. I guess Suki went back and forth with his ex-girlfriend or whatever. And here's pictures of her right here. Saying, ask him how much he paid for my hair appointment. Like, my thing is this. You have daughters too, Suki. You have daughters, and, and what are you teaching them about, uh, you know? And here's here's the, the Shade Room post about the mother of his children. He says, um, this is what she said. Here's what, okay, here's what she says here. Y'all keep sending me this. They posted it for a reason. They posted it, at Lord child. They posted it for a reason. <laughs> this is the most attention. <laughs> I still can't believe I said that. This is the most attention he's getting since Trim Life 2 and knocking my teeth back. Child. He's blocked for a reason. People do not change. I had to learn to stop feeling bad and making excuses for how he treats me. I love my son, myself, my son, and my pH balance more. Ciao. Mm, mm, mm. I wish the best for them, though. This is attention he needs for Shrimp 4. Y'all go get that in April. LOL. And she's saying that because, hey, that's her getting, you know, getting her child support. And here's where... I guess they got had some domestic violence going on. I'm not going to get into that whole thing. So, y'all, I mean, I was looking all over for different articles and everything. And then I did find a great article from OK Player. Um, they're another website. A young lady, Daniela Johnson, wrote this two days ago. Shout out to Daniela. And... Um, this is what she had to say in her article's title. A hypersexualized female rapper isn't an invitation for abuse. The hypersexualized personas of some female rappers are often seen as justica justification for the abuse they face, a problem that came to head recently with Sukihana. Now, remember, this is from OK Player. And she goes on to talk about women in rap music, about this uh, sexual liberation, body positivity, and everything. Um, and, and from Megan the Stallion to Lotto to Sexy Red, I don't know who Sexy Red is, and Suki are playing, but she forgot to li list Cardi B because Cardi B also is is pretty, well, it's kind of sexually liberated. She says what she feels and sings about it. Also, um, remember Megan the Stallion and Cardi B did their video WAP and they had that on all the award shows and Suki even did a cameo in that video. So um, Daniela goes on to talk about how this happened to Suki earlier this week. And also there was a clip going around um, from Candy, Co Candy Burris' Candy Coated podcast with um, A1 was, was really sexually aggressive towards Suki. And I watched that. I could tell Suki was kind of, it wasn't no kind of, Suki was very um, uncomfortable. And I was too about A1. It made me change the way I think about A1 doing that, like he said, he wanted to smell her private parts. Um, I think he's like talked about smelling it. He might talk about tasting it. Like it was really, really aggressive. It was really raunchy. It was, he kept going on and on and on. And it was, it was, it was too much. And, um, Daniela goes on to talk about an interview that um, Suki had with Cam Newton on his podcast. And she says, quote, Suki Hana comes out when the cameras are on. She, she said, I'm a mom 24-7. My life is being a mom. I just happen to be a mom with a career. Now, Suki, listen, we got to talk about that part. Because, Suki, I've seen you patting, patting the puss in the car on different little videos and other things. I've seen you doing some other stuff that is a lot, you know? And no, like Daniela says in her article, no, it's not an invitation to to touch you, to violate your space, to, to invade your space, anything like that, to violate your body. However, like, you got to learn to either 
if men make you uncomfortable, say right there, don't put your damn hands on me. Like, I don't know. I mean, I'm old enough to be your mother. This is just a very, it's a very touchy subject. People get upset about it. Um, people don't want to say what they really feel about this subject in fear of getting canceled or people saying stuff. However, um, I mean, no one's going to try to cancel me. I'm just a small YouTuber from around the way. But it's just, I feel just like as women, we have to look at the things that we've done. And I mean, I know I'm coming from a place where I'm older, old enough to be her mother. Um, but like we have to start taking some responsibility for what we put out there to people, not only to men, but to women as well. For as you know, sometimes a lot of times on these anybody's um, anybody's uh, Instagram and whatnot, people come out and they say some of the nastiest things underneath. Some of it is because that person. Who's, come, who's behind an avatar is hurt and dissatisfied from their self. And some of it is what we put out there, we can't, we can't police what people are going to say to us or about us when we put a per, certain persona out there. And that, that goes for me with some personal experience. I know for me, when in the past, I, I've done some things that I'm not that happy about and people said stuff about me and I had to really take, I really had to take an honest look at what my behavior was and what I was doing and what I did was I changed it. So um, Meek Mill came out to say some stuff and Meek should have just stayed out of it. Like Meek, you didn't have to come in. He, Osiris didn't need your help and everything else. And we just didn't need you coming up. And I'm going to link this this um, article in because I'm starting to get tired now. I'm going to link this article in the description of the video. Um, and it's just it's just a lot. There's there's definitely she talked about the double standard. There's definitely there's a double standard not only with rappers, rappers, there's a double standard in the world, period. There's a double standard. Women cannot do what men do. And some women say, Oh, this, that, and the third. Oh, it shouldn't be. You know what? It shouldn't be, but it is. We can't, we have to go with, with the here and now and what's going on right now. You know, and um, it's just, it's hard. It, it's rough. Like you have to move accordingly right now into what's going on right this second, right now. We can't go off of, you know, what men shouldn't do, what women shouldn't do. Like, yeah, he shouldn't touch you, but things are not going to change. You know what I mean? You guys, I don't know how, how much female rappers are going to make if they decide to put on a, a suit in a pencil skirt, they'll still that will be still be sexualized by some men somewhere. They'll get a turn on. Like it's all it's all very hard. So what we have to do is we have to do whatever we can to make the best out of the situation. Maybe Suki Suki Hana needs to have a bodyguard with her all the time. I don't know if she's with still with Kill Bill or with someone else. Maybe she needs to have someone with her all the time as like protection. You know. I don't know. I just know that this is, I hate to see any woman violated and whatnot. It, it's sad, but I need for us also to do better. I, I really need for us to um, to do better in what we do, you know? It's just, it's just not, it's just not an easy situation. And Suki poses like this and like some of the other ones I put up. Girl, I know what you're trying to do. I know. Let me turn this. Oh, I can leave that on. I I know what you're. I know what you're doing. You want to make money. You want to have a life for yourself. But when you get to be my age, maybe maybe you would be proud of this stuff when you get to be my age. I don't know. Calling yourself Suki with the good coochie is gonna make the men want to see what that coochie does. You know, they, th that's just who they are because a lot of them are immature and everything else. Like, it's a, it's a lot. It's just a whole lot. So, y'all, get down in the comments. Tell me what you think about all of this. Um, 
I don't know, maybe when I feel better, I might come up with, you know, and maybe do a live about it. If some other things that happen that are related and we could talk about it. Um, so I'm going to leave it right there because I definitely want to know your thoughts and everything. And remember, I'm an older woman, almost 60 years old. So I look at life a really di at life differently at this point in my life. So um, I want to know what you all have to say. Don't try to gather me down in the comments and all that kind of stuff because I'm not the type of person. That stuff don't bother me. You can say what you want, but it ain't going to bother me. But if you want to, go ahead, go off about it. So um, let me remove some of this stuff. What I have going on coming up, um, I have my um, Summer House Martha's Vineyard recap that is on tuesday make sure you watch the show tomorrow night it's on bravo at nine o'clock um also i have my hot topics and we're going to talk about this some more probably in hot topics on thursday when i do that so um with that y'all let me take this out of here with that i appreciate you for listening i really want to hear what you have to say about this whole thing because this is a it's a rough it's a rough subject it really is so let me throw this up here for you guys. Say it with me, kids. If protecting my peace makes me the villain, then bitch, my name is Thanos. Say it with me, kids. If protecting my peace makes me the villain, then bitch, my name is Thanos. Y'all, if you have remember, y'all, if you haven't liked the video already or subscribed to my channel, please do so. I'm trying to get my YouTube up and going, so do that. Oh God, y'all, I, I am really not feeling well. I went to a party and I danced, did some line dances, knowing I got a bad back, and I've been paying for it all day. Plus, I was looking around my grandson, and I think he got he got some kind of viral something the cold or something like that so i think i picked that up so i'm gonna lay i'm gonna be in the bed but tomorrow father's day Ugh, i gotta cook out tomorrow y'all it's it, it's not easy being a woman it's not easy being a woman and <laughs> that's why my song is work because it's always about work with me all the time working at home working my regular job and everything else all right y'all love y'all peace work, work, work. I believe that all of your dreams are correction You took my heart, all my keys, and my passion You took my heart, I'm a seed, but decoration You mistaken my love, I brought for you my foundation All that I wanted from you was to give me something that I never had Something that you never see 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 You see me do me da 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 da. So me by that word 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 word. Da 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 da. When you walk out, da 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 da. Before the table, da 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 da. Begging something.